Not on the way, just just one mutalisk. So not mutalisks, just just one. And what is this? He's got a hydralisk den on the way as well. I don't know if he's expecting me to go for a banshee harass now, but really I'm just trying to get an army. I do have four barracks up now with the engineering bay. And looking at my army now, I have 10 marines, 8 marauders, and because he hasn't attacked in a long time, I'm assuming that he feels comfortable with his map control and he's been macroing this entire time. So I'm moving out. Mutalists are flying past everything. I have no clue that there are mutalists out on the field yet. Zerglings getting a decent surround, but there just wasn't enough of them. These guys are upgraded. Uh, they do have stim packs. These guys don't have combat shield yet, though. And I'm able to take out the hatchery. Mutalisks hanging out in the corner. I figured they'd be coming down any second now. Zerglings popping out. Muta's popping out. I don't have that much to take them out, though. And there goes the last marine, so I'm down to just marauders. Taking out the Zerglings. So my plan now is to run and just attack as many drones as I can. But I was able to take out the expansion, so I have considered this, you know, the turning point in the game. And I have caught up. I'm getting, you know, massive amounts of missile charts in the back of my base, but the Mutalists will get there before then. Luckily, I forgot to put, you know, a rally point on that last barrack, so... Those marines did stall them long enough, it looks like. Because these marines are going to be doing quite a bit of damage. And now all the missile turrets are up. And they are going to do a ton of damage to these guys. What does their health look like? It is not too good. And once again, I am forced to muster up any forces I can to really defend enemies inside my base. His expansion is on the way again. All these marines should be able to clean this up and the last one does not escape with its life. Thank you recruit. Hatchery is still on the way. Not finished. Those things take forever as does my command center which I do have up I haven't morphed anything. I have a ton of gas that is pretty much because I am just sticking with massive amounts of marines. I don't think I got any marauders after a certain point in the game because he was sticking with mutalisks. So I went for marines. They are the counter to mutalisks, um, at least at this point in this game. You know, even though it's the 15 minute mark, because of all that harassment that he did earlier. Oh, look at that transfer. Good lord, how many is that? That is 14. I can I can count 14 SCVs being transferred there. That was a huge transfer. Too late. Should have gone earlier, but uh, I do have an orbital command up at my expansion, and here I'm going for another push. And it looks like that hatchery just finished because the queen is just now getting started, engaging his forces. I don't know. It looks like oh, if the mulus had stayed, he might have been able to finish me off, but no, they do kind of skirt around because they're mutalisks, and that's what they do. And he's kind of, I don't know, taking them out of the fight, I guess waiting for the stim to finish? Which it did, so they're all waiting for reinforcements and the stim to finish. So all those mutalisks should be able to wipe out these marines and these marauders. These marauders are actually taking out a larva. Don't take out the larva. So he's got to he's got to be thinking at this point that I do have an expansion. I do have that up, but I it is completely unprotected from the mutalisks. Unlike this one, once again, I would love to be able to scrap these or move these, but I can't because I I don't want them here anymore. I want one here and then maybe three here, but I can't do that. Hatchery once again on the way, but no, he is going for two at the same time. So he is going to be trying to use his map control to his advantage. I am getting an armory as well as a starport. And he, I saw that mutalist scout into my expansion. So I'm sending a whole ton of Marines down there.
because I'm expecting him to send all the mutas down and I want to be prepared. But there's nothing. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess they're not going to attack. But no, they're just really late. <laughs> so in they come. They're going to see my armory. They're going to want to take that out immediately because he doesn't want, not want to see Thors out on the field. Doing massive damage to my SCVs. I am sending the Marines in. This this armory finished with... Oh my gosh, look how close that is. It is one second off. So the Marines do come in. They scare the Mutas off. He's still just going for Mutas, though, it looks like. Nope, Mutas and Zerglings. Hasn't gotten really any hydras out because I didn't go any air units I assume but yeah look at that that is a ton of marines I have out on the field how many is that that's 33 right there 33 his I'm gonna call it third up even though it's like like it's fourth or fifth now um, as well as his second now his somewhat natural and here I go in with all these marines. Did I? I never got the combat shield upgrade. I don't know why. I definitely have the minerals and gas for it. My macro definitely started to slip, especially in terms of the gas. I just wasn't spending it. I was too focused on building marines that I, I neglected to spend my gas. But all these marines coming in, just a massive ball of them. Once again, taking out the larva because I hate larva. Apparently, I have a phobia of grub worms or whatever those are. And I have a huge lead in the unit's loss count. And I should have a huge lead. No, I don't have a huge lead in the har harvester count because he did go for that harass. But in come these guys. And I should be able to take them out. He has spent absolutely nothing on technology, it looks like. Um, so these you know, these mutas are have no upgrades on them as opposed to these guys who are 1-1. One, one, and I should be getting the second, yes, second level upgrade right there. And that's the game. So, wow, that was, to me, that was a great game. Maybe not to you guys, but because I, it started off with me failing to block off. And me having to take my all my SCVs off the line. What was it, like four or five times? But still being able to come back. Not Because I went for the barracks, the, the additional barracks with the reactors definitely helped out. And I switched to a pure marine ball. Don't even Didn't even bother with the marauders. They were not helping at all. They don't do bonus damage to zerglings. And that's what won me the game. I did, you know, finally get that starport up. It never did anything for me. I got that a, a sixth barracks up. That didn't do anything for me. Or is that five? Yeah, that's only five. Five barracks. Got the armory. That was just for the weapons upgrade on those... <laughs> on those marines. Second starport. Still not doing anything with it. But that's because it is the late game. And that was... A great game from my perspective. Don't know if it was from yours. I think I, I just said that. But I forget because it's 2 in the morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.